It's Saturday and I'm in at the lab and it's Sport Trap uh, investigation time. Sorry for the noise, I'm in the biohazard hood. This is the uh, slide from the Sport Trap and as you can see there's a line of particles which is the in the air. So basically now we stain this so that I can use the microscope to see exactly what is in the airspace and then do counts on that. This is a typical example of an Alternaria colony which I found under the spore traps for the hallway air sample from this particular property. Isn't that beautiful? Alternaria fungi produce a range of mycotoxins which are known to cause food spoilage but equally so cause adverse health effects in persons. In this field of view at 400 times magnification, we've got a uh, alternaria uh, fungal spore on the left hand side, ascospore on the right hand side, a skin cell here. This is an example of cladosporium in an air spore trap, and uh, these don't produce mycotoxins but contribute to smells indoors. This is the spore trap result from a laundry, and I found a beautiful spore of the fungus Spegazenia. This is not known to cause disease in humans. I prepare all my samples in a biohazard hood to protect me from any uh, unwanted pathogens and mycotoxins that might be present on these samples. Here's a spore trap result for someone's bedroom and their long chains of Aspergillus or Penicillium, hard to differentiate without being able to see the entire spore head, still allergenic. At the day all the used and analysed spore traps end up in the uh, biohazard uh, bin where they'll be taken off site and autoclaved. If you want your spore traps and tape lips analysed properly, taking full advantage of computerised image analysis, then send them to us. We'll analyse your data properly.